Let's see here. The star right there. Let's go back into this video that I wanted to, to listen to. You know, the last few days, as you know, I've been battling with my infection on my neck. And a person like myself should hop on a plane or move out. It's always easy to be an armchair critic. And um, be there to pass judgment. So I guess because people are seeing the demise, people are seeing the breakdown, people are seeing how he is just disintegrating within this past weeks or so, right? And a lot of people saying like, yo, you might have to just leave. And you're right. People are making their comments. But maybe they're right. Maybe they're wrong. In the end, it doesn't matter, right or wrong, he's going to make his own decision. It's easy to pass judgment and suggest this, but I just ask anybody to think what it would be like on day one. Okay, you've made the decision. You know that there's no way that you can stay where you thought you were going to stay till you passed away. So, you know, let's imagine it. John can no longer stay where he thought he was going to stay till he passes on. Okay. It's not about the money. It's not about the aspirations or the, the dreams that you had of having a comfortable retirement. It's now down to survival. I ask you to think for a moment what it would be like if you were 76. Okay, so let's imagine this thing for John, right? Where it's imagine we're John, we're 76. Okay. What should he do? Because that's what he already contemplated. So now he wants you to kind of think what how he's thinking. All right? Yes, you have a pension. But you okay. also have morals and that morals. you feel obligated to keep the family together. There we go. Morals. You want to keep the family together. Number one, it's not a family. You're not married to her. Those are not your kids. You're not being respected in a family. And you think you that's morality to so stick around? If you're 76 years old, you should recognize bullshit. If you're 76 year old, you should recognize you created bullshit. If you're 76 year old by now, you should understand a bit like, this is not a safe place for me to be. But the question is, maybe this is the only place that he can be because he stated that he spent all his money to create that. But he at least he still has pensions. A lot of guys are giving up the moolah right away. There's a, there's this vlogger that was brought up to me. This guy's, you know, he's gone back and forth in the Philippines already. He can't marry the Filipina because she's still married and he's admitted that on his vlog. And then he's building them a compound, building them a house and everything like that. Why? You already understand that if you got into a marriage with someone, there's love in there. That you, there is still a problem, that, they, that there could be problems where that relationship is not going to work out. Yet you're going to go into somebody that you can't marry. You can't get your third, you know, guys moving to Philippines, get married, get married. If you meet the girl, the great girl, I guess there's something wrong getting married. You're, it's more advantage, advantageous for you anyways, right? There's ways that you can hide the money, but at the very same time as you can get your, your visa to stay. You feel that by cutting off the finance. There we go again, cutting off the finance. What do we call this, John? Oh, yeah, he calls it his carrots and his stick routine. He always goes for that. Let me cut the finance to show them who's the man. It's just making things worse. That's why you got to keep on making the videos. Got it. And I can hear you saying, but for who? Exactly. It's not making things easier for me. It's not making things easier for you if you move out. You move in, you're not respected. 
you move in, you're li you're literally, he said, you know, in the one video, sleeping in the floor while, he made a comment about this, sleeping in the floor while the, while the woman is sleeping in the double bed. Because question is, if he is sleeping in the floor right now in the living room, that means he's in the doghouse and he can't go in the room. It's making things worse for them. Possibly, in many cases, the innocent ones in a family, in a family. And it's always been difficult to express my thoughts in an open way that I know is appreciated by the viewer as a, a means of information to understand what it's truly like to live here in the Philippines with a Filipina. So it's a true way when you live with a Filipina, the true true life living with a Filipina, his as it is. No, his is just an experience. His is one of a of a many. But the thing though is he's trying to create this narrative that this is the way Filipinas are, which is not. If you get with a bad Filipina, then it is bad. That's not to say that all Filipinas are the same as okay. the one you have, or the one that Good. I have, or the one that she has. Okay. It's just simply my reflection. My reflections are not only a form of release, a form of therapy in a way, to know that I'm not on my own, to know that my thoughts are not particularly just for me so right there he truly explains it he really is airing his dirty laundry but this is his form of therapy and i understand sometimes it feels good to let it out but you're creating more problems you keep on talking about these situations your family is listening your family is seeing what you're doing your family is reading the comments. That's your problem. There is a moment in time where you just need to STFU. Just like, for example, you cannot stop talking about me or bringing me up in some form or some way in your video still. Why? That is your kryptonite. And that's probably what your family's been trying to say. And you justify using them as an example to create stories for people to see. And what happens with that? You justify it because you're at least you're giving her the money for it. And if it wants so you're pretty much saying it justifies you to bring out the dirty laundry to justify you getting paid to give her the money. Their thoughts that any one of you out there could be feeling at this moment. If I am to look at the proposal that I've come up with and many of you I'm sure in your good wisdom have suggested that I move out the proposal that he has made so he thought about it made a proposal and what is he doing he probably told the woman what his plans are let's repeat that again I've come up with and many for me their thoughts that any one of you out there could be feeling at this moment. If I am to look at the proposal that I've come up with. The proposal that I've come up with, past tense, meaning he created a proposal already, a plan. Can't make this up. And many of you, I'm sure, in your good wisdom have suggested that I move out, that I move to, I won't say. And com also confirming what other people are suggesting. So the proposal he made is based on what he's hearing from people. So uh, now, maybe uh, my American English is just makes me stupid, like he always says, because, you know, proper English like he has. But I'm sure.
people got the gist of it. They a pokey little hole, but I know that that's what it will be compared to what I have here now. But your surroundings are what you make it. Yeah, your surroundings is what you make it. You may live in a small hole, but then you have a piece. Or you live in the house that you built and sleep in the floor with people that disrespects you or maybe just don't respect you anymore because of what you've been doing. There is going to be choices that has to be made. I'm sure that I could find a room with a CR that I could be allowed to fit a electric heater on the shower that I'm able to um, know is home to me where I can move on till the moment I unable to and they so think about that right now guys live a single life move into a place like that eventually you know Filipina no longer there does it will not take care of you and die is that how you want to do is that how you want it or are you going to prepare yourself the right way choose the right person that you should be with like which one is going to be your decision that you want to have in life this guy is slowly just disintegrating in front of the people. And it sucks. But at the very same time as you're just going to have to bring out the popcorn. Because whether there's some reality that he finally checks himself, that he can actually be like, you know what, I need to work on something. But the, you know, if it's true, if he's not doing this for the clicks and creating this narrative, this bad relationship, whatever, this relationship has been over with for a while. Maybe get a a lady who can come in every day just to check to make sure I'm okay at morning, noon, and afternoon, and maybe even offer to help make a meal. You mean hire a maid? It won't cost me a lot of money and it will be a form of adult friendship that I can at least feel that somebody I know I'm paying. But when you're paying someone, it's not a friendship. So this is, this is what I'm just trying to say for a lot of people you guys need to understand. If you create a transactional relationship with your woman, now let's remove this part of everyone trying to say every relationship is a transaction. Let's remove that thinking. Listen, if you create a relationship based on transaction that you initiated, how is that supposed to be a relationship that's supposed to grow? Is somebody who's reliant upon me as much as I am on them. And that might be the answer. It will be always, it's always hard to look back and think, what if? You know, are they just trying to push you to the limit where they don't really want you to go, but really they do? Are they that unable to confront an issue? Do Filipinas always have to maybe turn everything to the negative. Um, um, so Filipinos turn things to the negative. What does that translate? The Filipina in his life right now is saying, what are you talking about that we're always negative? The fact you're still here, Libby, not dead. That's a positive thing. What is wrong with you, British man? Like, doesn't he understand? He goes, well, they shouldn't take it. Well, don't bring it up. And at the very same time is, if this is your thoughts, before you put out a video, you sit down your girl and be like, listen, this is what I did. But we know one thing. John always has, you know, other people who don't speak British English and stuff like that are pretty much, you know, don't know English as much. But listen, you're the one that's lost in translation. You're in a country that doesn't belong to, you know, that you're not belong, you're not from. And you obviously still don't understand the basic things of culture. But let's just remove the fact is 
if you talk shit about a girl that you're with, her family, her kids that doesn't belong to you, that belong to her, came out of her punani, doesn't matter if you're from the Philippines or from England, Italy, France, women are going to take it that way. Heck, I take it that way. I obviously understand that you're talking shit about your girl. You make, you're blasting them out. You're not having any accountability. A lot of people, majority of people that are viewing you are taking it. Heck, there's people that are giving you advice. Say, hey, John, maybe you should stay away from that. And truthful, I know that those people are trying to be a, a good person to give advice, but he's not going to take it. My, my attempts to try and get to the bottom of a relationship is always going to be paramount because I care about the relationship. If somebody says, no, you don't, and that you're just a white monkey or a middle finger, what does that achieve? Nothing. Right. It doesn't achieve anything. But the thing though is you're trying to get to the bottom of it, but you don't understand what a relationship is. Case in point, your little carrot and stick routine that you think that that's how a relate a true relationship. Now, a carrot and stick, you know, routine, you can definitely use that if this is a person that you just want to, you know, bang and run. But if it's not a person that you want to bang and run, you using the carrot, the carrot and the stick routine on them, and you're proud to have used it. You've you've made a video about it. You even talk about cutting the money off and all that stuff, that's not a true relationship. You have no clue what a true relationship is. And hopefully you guys listening, if you think that you can do that, start paying attention because this guy who built the house might be moving to a one bedroom place. That might be you when you turn 76 with the wrong family, with the wrong Filipina, or wrong Latina, or wrong Ukrainian woman when Ukraine opens up again. I have things thrown at me that I can't defend because I don't even know where they're coming from. That's the problem. No empathy. No, like I said, no accountability. And it's not... And I've been, me making the videos, and me saying, like, bro, here, this is what's being seen. I'm helping you out. He's not going to take it. This video right here, he's not going to accept it. Because the problem is them, not me, is what he's saying. Me sharing my dirty washing in public. Yeah, you, you shared it. I'm helping. I'm going to stop this really fast, but I guess, some, you know, Brian, you in the chat. What happened to our, you know, what happened to our wonderful debate, man? Stop running. It's me just exasperated as to what to do at 76 yeah it's that's exactly the problem there is that you're trying to say it's you're not hanging your dirty laundry but you are hanging your dirty laundry and i know you're trying to open up because you don't have your boys there's guys here right now watching this video you guys have that three five boys that surrounds you that you can share this stuff with if you cut off ties with the people that you're supposed to be with that that's going to have your back you don't have that and so now you're 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 trying to use your youtube channel to be able to say let me share with you guys let me open up but the problem is those inner problems is something that needs to stay inside and be around the circle of friends. But you don't have that, obviously. Of an unknown future. It is a scary event, but it's probably something that I need to focus on. And it is what it is. That's what we have. That's what's being seen. This is literally, you can even say, a good example 
of what's going to happen to a lot of men who wants to play the field in the Philippines. Either you want to play the field and eventually the years will catch up to you. Or you decide to not pay attention how to choose the right woman, or you find the good woman, but you don't know how to treat her right. What you need to do is self-assess yourself and say, what's my position? Because you're going to be 76, sick, have an infection, sleeping in the floor, not knowing what's going to happen the next day. Because I want you guys to pay attention to this. Like I said, she can kick him out anytime she wants to. That's number one. And he doesn't have the years to fight that in court in the Philippines. That's the number one choice. Will he end up in Rafi Tulfo? Maybe, then we can do a reaction to it. Number two is, he wants the thing sold. Well, it's going to take a long time to sell something like that. And even with that is, how can you sell it? Okay. Because the land is going to be separated. Or number three, just wait it out until he dies. Now, is that form of a, of a senior abuse, an abuse of a senior citizen? You can assess that, but they are not married. They're not there to help them. You're that you're 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 that old. And you know, he's still able to walk around. God bless him for that stuff. But at the very same time, there's a lot of things that he cannot do himself, especially if you're in the province section, you can't speak Tagalog, you can't speak the local dialect, Ilongo, Ilocano, whatever it is. Okay. Well, that's gonna create problems for you. He is gonna have lots of problems. Don't put yourself in a position where this is going to be you. 